Uh, here in this demonstration, I'm going to show you um, how to take a quiz in Blackboard. So um, first of all, you will find um, our quiz in the learning modules, in the icebreaker activities, and if you scroll down, uh, you'll find the quiz folder. And if you open that up, uh, that's where you'll see our quiz. It's not open right now, so you can't see it. Uh, but I just have this demo quiz in here now. But that's how you'll find the quiz. Um, so quizzes in this class will be between 10 and 20 questions, true, false, multiple choice, that type of question. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like in Blackboard. So you'll click on the quiz link. And it'll give you, you know, it'll tell you you have a time limit of 60 minutes for our quizzes. Um, it'll tell you you'll be notified when time expires. And also, once you start the test, it has to be completed in one sitting. So don't leave the test before you click Save and Submit. So I'm going to begin the, uh, begin the quiz. You won't need to put in a password. This is just so you don't see my demo quiz in the class. Okay. So, you know, you kind of have a timer up here, and then down here you have the questions. The response for this question is true. This is just showing you a true-false question. So I'll click on true, and then if I come over here, you'll see two-point save answer. It's going to save it for you after a few seconds. Um, and if you move on to the next question, it will also save it for you. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like. I can move to the next question. Um, you know, this is just true, false. Again, the response is false. So I'm going to click on this and then I can move to the next question. So you can keep moving forward. This will bring you to the beginning of the test, to the previous question, to the next question, at the end of the test. Or you can also click on this question completion status. This will show you that there are, um, three questions and that two of them are complete and you can use this also to move around the test so for instance I could click three here it'll bring me to question three it'll say you know the answer is a this is just a multiple choice question and since I'm all done now I can just choose save and submit it'll give me a message press OK to submit or cancel to return to the test Okay, and when you're done here, you can click OK. Um, I, this is going to pop up the answers right here. Uh, you will not see this. For our tests, uh, you will be able to review the answers, but you will not be able to review them until after the quiz closes. So anytime uh, starting at midnight, right after the quiz closes, you can go in and review what you got right and what you got wrong. Um, you will be able to see your grades in the grade book. So if you click on my grades, okay, um, and I'm not terribly familiar with my grades here. Uh, I think I don't have it open yet is the problem. Open systems. Yeah, I don't have it open yet. So, oh, I know. I don't have the demo quiz in the grade book. Okay. So what's going to happen here is you will see, um, you know, the first quiz here on the course materials. You'll see it listed someplace here. You'll see the grade over here, um, and it'll be in blue. And when you click on that grade that's in blue, Right, the actual numeric grade, it'll bring it into you into your quiz so you can see what you got right and what you got wrong. Um, the, the my grade section is really important for this class. Um, you should have watched the computer literacy basics already, that whole video series. If you did, you'll see a hundred percent over here. If you missed any of the videos or didn't watch them till completion, you won't see any grade, and this is what I'm gonna see. So be sure sure that you're checking this information as well. Okay, so again, um, there'll be a series of instructions for you to read. You have 60 minutes, which is more than enough time. You have to complete it in one sitting. You have to complete it on the one day that it's open. You can take it at any point you want. Um, 
please take this on a computer. Don't try and take a, a, um, a quiz in Blackboard on your phone. Um, and I don't recommend using Internet Explorer. I have students that have problems with it on quizzes. Um, I have students that have problems with it in Blackboard in general. Uh, so please use either Chrome or Firefox. Um, or Safari. If you have any questions, you have a problem that you've run into, just send me an email and let me know.